This will be a video overview of the BRK 1839N. Yes, that's the voice exactly how I did it when I first showed it to Edigo. And it's iconic, so I might as well just do an impression of my own voice. So, anyways, we're going to just do a video overview of this, because I never seem to really touch this unit that much. Um, I play around with it to um, troll it all the time, but I never really actually made a dedicated video on, on this. I've made, like, a few videos on this before. I've done an official um, kind of unboxing video. It was in a bigger unboxing with some kitty units and stuff. So, yeah, uh, we'll start off with the box. So, of course, it's 120 volt AC power, which I'll get to in a moment. It's ionization. Here's the model. I'm pretty sure the manuals are, oh, they're not in here. Hey, I lost all the manuals. I don't even know. I took them all out, and I just got rid of them. Yeah. Um, here's the back. Installer must leave user's manual in this box with the user. 18th Ryan has quick connect speed wire terminals, quote unquote. Yep. Pretty cool. So let's get to the alarm. So here's the alarm itself. Um, you may be already noticing the giant vent holes, which I'll be getting to in a moment. But in in standard terms, um, here's the model, here's the back of it. It's got the original, kind of original BRK logo. As some may not be familiar with, like, especially people in the modern community may not be familiar with that beer logo. And as you can tell, it's got the push-in terminals, um, with the interconnect being in the middle, which is interesting. So, yeah. Um, I don't think that's the date code. I don't know where the date code of this thing is, but my, uh, my best guess of when this was made is somewhere in the 90s. Because that's when these were, these were usually made in around 1993. As usually the best data where you can find these. There is an older version of this that looks exactly the same. Uh, which is the BRK 1839i. I'm not sure of the exact difference between the two. Because they're both very, very similar. They both have piezos and everything. They both, they both have, they both have the same cover design. Um, the push-in terminals, however, I'm pretty sure are closer to the middle, but I can't remember. I did a little bit of research, but not much at all. I don't know if they use a different, uh, base at all. Um, like this one. I'm not sure if it uses this base at all, but, um, that I didn't check for. So, um, yeah, I didn't check for that. So, in looks-wise, it's, um, you got the six rows of vents. Um, but three of them are covered, three of them are, uh, hollow. You got your test button in the middle. And it's very, very similar to this right here, the 86RAC. The 86RAC is very, very different. Um, even the front is different because the vent holes are not as big as the 1839 as you can notice. And, of course, this has been over here to the side. And it's got battery backup. So, yeah. And this one takes an actual wire harness instead of the push-in terminals. There are older versions of this that have the push-in terminals. And I'm pretty sure they also don't have battery backup. So, yeah, they are incredibly rare to find. The first generations, I'm pretty sure... I do have the second and third gens, but I don't have the first gen to show you. And the test button is actually, like, instead of, like, off to the side, it has it on this line right here. It's actually on it instead of, like, a little bit offset. So, yeah. This is definitely a classic unit, of course. So, yeah. It's also wildly similar to this right here, which, um, honestly kind of surprised that it doesn't have the big vent holes like the 18th and n does. Because I always found this interesting that this one, this because this is the older version. This is the 1839 ACI. It has the star buzzer. It has the test button over here. Like, it's in between the the holes and the the hollow holes and the fake holes, I guess. It's like right here. And this also has no battery backup. And it also has the push-in terminals. But they're slightly different. So, yeah. And it has a different base, too. So, 
Yeah, 18th run on ACI. There are other versions that go even earlier, the 1769, the uh, 769, but I'm not going to mention those because they're, uh, first of all, I don't have them. Two, they're not really related um, to this right here. So, yeah, they look very, very similar. So this obviously has no battery backup since uh, due to a lack of a battery door, similar to an 1839 ACI. So this has got the standard piezo, of course. But it does continuous, which I'm going to be demonstrating in a moment. Yes, it works. Here we go. This is first time ever being powered on. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's funny. This thing is loud. Oh, wait, let me see what happens when I covered it. Okay. Okay, I want to show you one quick thing. Notice how the light goes out when you press it. That's all I'm doing, though. Because this thing is really loud for a piezo unit, considering I have no tape on it. This is 85 decibels. So, after a long struggle, we got it. Alright, let's watch the um, LED go out. No dying sound. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I finally it was able to test this. So, yeah. That's the video, video overview of the BRK 1839... And I just realized it kind of sounds like my school elevator. So, yeah, obviously, this, so as you heard, this did continuous, and now I just gotta take these out. Actually, should I even take this out? Yeah, I will. I gotta, how I usually do is I just yank on them, and then they'll come out. Alright, well, anyways, yeah, video overview of the BRK 18th right and I hope you all enjoyed, and that will be it.